Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Cheetah Classic. As always, I'm gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately, I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. And with that out of the way, let's start with our 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, this vehicle is gonna cost you about $900,000 if you wanna buy it in GTA Online. It was released about 6 years ago, as of the making of this video, and it's based on... well, it's based on something. It's based on a Ferrari, I'm just not sure which one. I believe it's a Testarossa, but uh, don't tell me that I'm stupid in the comments. In terms of interactivity, this is what you can do with it. You can open... wait for it... Both doors, the hood and the trunk, and because this is a rear-engine vehicle, the hood is located in the back, which is kind of weird, but also kind of suiting for a Ferrari. But, uh, yeah, in any case, yeah, yeah, this is the Testarossa, I'm, uh, I'm more confident about it now. All in all, a pretty, pretty vehicle, if you're into that type of design. And uh, that's the exterior done, and uh, something that I also want to mention is that this vehicle is part of the sports classics category in GT Online. As for the interior, I don't know, let's jump in and look at what it looks like, and listen to how the car sounds. And uh, we have a very 80s inspired interior. As for the way the vehicle sounds... It sounds very sports classic, and I really like, by the way, uh, when we talk about the interior, the accent stitching around the dashboard. It's really cool. And with that, we are off to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on the Cheetah Classic. And of course, first things first, let's see what type of drivetrain we're dealing with here. And uh, no surprises, no surprises, this is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And with that, let's go to Los Santos Customs. And of course, on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Cheetah Classic. And before I do that, I just wanna say a disclaimer that this vehicle has been on the podium about two years ago, and uh, I made a review of it, and uh, honestly, I remember nothing of it. So, this is gonna be kind of my first impressions of it. And so far, I can say with confidence that the Cheetah Classic handles rather nicely, especially for a rear, well, a rear-wheel drive vehicle. The acceleration is decent, from what I can tell the top speed is as well, and uh, yeah, all in all, it's a really well-balanced vehicle. As I said, it was about uh, six years ago when it was first released, so yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a, on the newer side in terms of performance, so nice to be expected. Wow, that was a close one. Yeah, I really like the handling of it, now that, I, that I'm driving it more. But I'm really curious to see what type of customization we can expect. And here we are in Los Santos Customs, and as said before, this vehicle is part of the sports classics category in GTA Online. As for how much money you can sell it for, you can sell it for a big fat zero, because it is the podium vehicle. So we're going to be repairing it and uh, upgrading all the performance up front so we don't forget anything at the end. And this is already a good sign that we can customize the engine block as well. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see now. Next up we have the suspension. Nope. We have transmission. Did I do it? Yep, I did it. Turbo and... And that it. Now let's see. The first customization option comes as a front bumper option, which is, as a matter of fact, the front splitter. Oh, no, actually, kind of front bumper-ish. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the. Yeah, let's go with this one. Rear. This is the surprisingly enough the rear bumper of the vehicle. We're gonna be keeping it as is, since I don't care for the secondary spray paint. Uh, the engine block and this is really cool. This is by the way as I said I keep repeating myself But uh, I believe this is really interesting that this vehicle was released six years ago And you can still modify the engine somewhat you can at least change the color of it pretty pretty cool um, Yeah, let's go with the secondary color. Why not even though nobody can see it exhausts we can customize the exhausts yeah, I think I like the carbon-tipped exhaust. Uh, let's see now. Fenders! 
I really like those fenders. Here are all the hood options we can choose from. Even though I kind of like the default one. I'm gonna go with the retro hood. Because, well, why not? Something that I see that is missing is a rear spoiler, which is kind of a bummer, but also, I don't know. Roof! Let's see now. Oh, th this isn't the roof, this is the... I forgot what it's called, but this is definitely... This shouldn't be called the roof option, this should be called the... B whatever. Uh, let's see now. Side skirts! I'm definitely gonna go with this one, because I like... Oh! Spoiler! Never mind! I... S Stand corrected. I stand cor Ooh, classic spo- Oh, this is so cool looking. And uh, something that I want to mention is that- reg Oh my god, this is so cool looking! Regardless of which option you go with, other than the stock one, you're gonna get a boost in traction. So that's cool. I'm definitely gonna go with this one though, because the- Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this one. Super spoiler, like suspension, of course we're gonna slam it to the ground, even though there's not much of a difference there, but eh, $3,400. And uh, something that I didn't do is go over the liveries. Or maybe there aren't any liveries? There are no liveries for this vehicle. Interesting. Window tint. Really cool. The window tint does not impact the visibility of the engine, which is something that I love. So let's go with uh, the dark smoke tint because well, it's a Ferrari and uh, it's time to respray the vehicle. And for that, I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, once again to come to my aid and tell me what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now. And for this week, most of you suggested silver. So we're going to be making it silver, which is... Uh, gonna be interesting let's see now mm -hmm. let's just for kicks and giggles see what chrome looks like and it looks really really cool but we're not gonna be making it chrome we're gonna be making it silver which is honestly not bad kind of like it let's see silver secondary color something matte maybe hmm oh maybe go with go with red for the secondary one let's see Lime green, maybe? No, that's a bit too much. I think red is gonna go go really well with the vehicle, especially because... Ooh, we can customize the trim color as well. Dare I make it red as well? Yeah, why not? You only live once. YOLO! And uh, there we have it! It's a red-silver-ish vehicle. Kinda cool. But... Uh, Honestly, I'm really surprised by the by the level of customization we have here. I wasn't expecting this for such an old vehicle. But uh, that's the customization done. Now let's check out what we did on the outside. Oh, and it's raining. How appropriate. At least we're going to be testing out the vehicle in, uh, in rainy conditions. Something that I didn't see before. Oh, the pop-up headlights. Uh, that's so cool. I didn't notice that before. For some reason, I thought those were the headlights. But no, those are, I'm assuming, the high beams. And, uh... Oh, well, yeah. This vehicle is definitely a rear-wheel drive one. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, let's see. Honestly, the brakes are probably the weakest part of the vehicle. At least from what I can tell right now. Again, under rainy conditions. Let's see now. Handling is really excellent. Traction, from what I can tell, even though it's raining, really good. Acceleration, really good, for its class, of course. And top speed, from what I can tell, also really good. As I said before, uh, it's uh, it's still true. It's a very well-rounded vehicle. I really like what I'm seeing here. And honestly, I wasn't expecting this good a customization. I was expecting maybe a couple of bumpers, a couple of rear bumpers, even though we have, uh, honestly, the... the now, the rear bumper option was kind of a fail. It was only a respray of the original, but you know what I mean. The front bumper options, at least, were there. And uh, all in all, it's a pretty... Honestly, a pretty cool vehicle. And considering that right now, as of today, Rockstar has released the new 50-car garage. Honestly, this vehicle, in my opinion, is a keeper in one of those 50 spots. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. I really like what I'm seeing here. 
And, uh, wow, yeah. I really like, by the way, the, the rear of the vehicle. It looks very, very retro. It's very, it's very 80s. Which is, uh... A time in car culture that I really admire and enjoy. So, yeah, for me, this one is a no-brainer. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you like this vehicle? Do you hate it? Am I off on the performance of it? Uh, just let me know. And with that, we're going to be ending the video. Thank you so much, as always, to everybody that watched. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Now let's go store this bad boy in my new 50 car garage! Still can't believe that.